Do you wanna make your YouTube channel better? I'm gonna tell you a bunch of ways to make your YouTube channel better and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So part of my Saturday is looking at your YouTube channels, basically pulling channels up during my live streams and giving people advice on things that they can do to improve. And one of the things that I've noticed is that there's a lot of commonalities going on. I think using commonalities in that way is correct, but I'm not 100% sure, but we're rolling with it anyway. So I'm gonna give you a bunch of suggestions on things that you can do to make your YouTube channel better. Number one, your channel art, your masthead on your YouTube channel needs to be optimized for mobile and recommended preview. To see what it looks like on mobile, all you have to do is open up your phone and look at your channel on your phone, check it out on your YouTube app, and also check it out inside of a browser, either Safari, Google Chrome, or even both. To know that it's okay, just make sure nothing's getting cut off that needs to be seen. Of course, there's some things, depending on your design, that will be okay if you can only see it on desktop, but the most important part of your channel art make sure that that is easy to understand on a mobile device. Number two, thumbnails. They are the very first thing that people see, so it is super important to make sure that your thumbnails are okay. Here's a really quick thumbnail tip that will help you a ton. Focus all of your efforts on the imagery and then support that imagery with easy to read text that you've minimized to just a few words. Now that text should be supportive of what is going on in the video. You don't wanna mislead people or anything like that, but you wanna make the thumbnail just kind of tell an additional story to what's going on in the video. If you don't know how to do that, then feel free to simplify what you did in the title and use that in your thumbnail as well. But if you can learn how to do both, then it's even better and can make your thumbs more powerful. Number three, create a recognizable visual brand. Here's what I mean. When someone looks at your channel, that first impression they get, somebody goes to your channel for the first time, what's happening in your channel art should look like what is happening in your thumbnails. There needs to be some type of connection between what is happening in your channel art and what is happening in your thumbnails. Just like any major website you go to, there's consistency in what it is that you see. There's consistency in the colors they use. There's consistency in the fonts that they use. There's consistency in how they use their images and what types of images they use. It's not just about your logo and where you put your logo. It's about creating a style that people can recognize, graphic elements that can help them know that it is your content regardless of where it is that they see it on the platform. The idea in a nutshell, is if somebody sees your channel art, you want them to say, oh, that looks just like their thumbnails. Somebody sees your thumbnails, you want them to say, oh, that looks similar to what's going on in their channel art. If somebody sees your in-video graphics, you want them to say, oh, okay, that kind of matches everything else. And for the people that don't notice that, it's a subconscious thing that happens to where that look starts to become yours. And you can level this whole thing up again by taking those same ideas and applying them to your other social networks as well. Another thing that you can do to make your YouTube channel better is you can add an auto subscribe link to your channel art. Basically just say click here to subscribe and then you add the auto subscribe code that I'll put down in the description below but you add that auto subscribe code and then when people click on it, it works just like the subscribe button. I don't know why but that option there seems to work like a charm. Next up is your about me page. On your about me page, the very very first 152 characters or what people are gonna see if somebody shares your channel out to Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Because of that, it's important that you make sure that first 152 characters is optimized to persuade people when they see your channel and they see that description, it persuades people to come and check out your channel. On your About Me page, you also wanna put your backstory or a little bit of information about you. You wanna put you know, why it is that you're making YouTube videos or what it is that caused you to make that particular type of content or what mission you happen to be on with your content. Underneath that is where you can put your website stuff or you can put your upload schedule or any other information that you think is important for people to know. It's about the channel, so use it to tell people what the channel's about. Next up is playlists on your channel page. This is often overlooked, but extremely important. You wanna optimize your channel page, and that's basically just a fancy way of saying that you wanna take your playlist, put your videos in the playlist, put them onto your channel page so that when somebody goes to your channel page and they scroll down, they're gonna see more of your content without having to go search for it. Now, of course, there are people that go to YouTube and they just hit the channel page and then they'll click on the video page and then they'll see what you have to offer there. But the idea is to design your channel page and to do everything around your channel so that it accommodates users of YouTube however they decide to use YouTube. 
And optimizing your channel page with playlists is one of the things that will help you do that. And of course, you can level this whole thing up by sorting those playlists manually, by highlighting videos that are known to drive subscribers or highlighting videos that are known to drive high watch time or videos that often refer people to other videos of yours. That's a little power tip. Our secret, don't tell anybody. Another thing that you can do to make your YouTube channel better is to use the features that YouTube has given you properly. One way to do that is to use a subscribe button as your branding watermark. I have those available at tubertools.com. I'll put a link to that down in the description below. It's my website, by the way. Make sure that you're using your end screens to give people the option to subscribe and the option to watch more of your content. And I know if you're a mobile user, you can't do this inside of the Creator Studio, but I recommend that you try desktop mode because in some browsers, desktop mode will work. You can also make your YouTube channel better and also the experience better for the people that are watching your content if you're using YouTube cards as well. You can use cards in a bunch of different ways, but the idea is to keep sending people into more and more of your content to make it easy for the viewer to see more of your stuff. You can also use cards for things like this. You can check out my brother's channel here where he helps you learn how to master your mobile device. Seriously, go check it out and I recommend you subscribe. And of course, you want to also make sure that in addition to making your channel better for others, you also wanna make your channel better for yourself. And one of the ways that you can do that is by simplifying your workflow by using the upload defaults option inside of your Creator Studio. To find this, just go into your Creator Studio and then click on the Channels tab. And then underneath the Channels tab, you'll see Upload Defaults. Once you click on that, then that gives you the option to add anything you want to your description. And then when you upload a new video, then that's going to be auto-populated with all of that information that you've already put in your upload defaults. To really maximize this, that auto subscribe link that I showed you how to make earlier that I still have the code for down in the description, that auto subscribe link, you wanna make sure that you put your full link down there so where people can click on that and subscribe as well. And you also wanna make sure that you're also recommending playlists or at least videos that people will also watch that will send them into more of your content. And a power tip with that one is just to make sure that the content you're recommending them to is directly related to the video that they're watching now. And another thing that you can do, of course, is to build your channel in a way that will generate more watch time for you. I just recently made a video on how to build a watch time trap so you can get more watch time per viewer. I'll put a link to that up here. But one of the ways that you can do that that I mentioned in that video is to use a pinned comment to drive people into more of your videos that way. And just in case you don't know what a pinned comment is, a pinned comment is to where you write your own comment and then you click on the little menu and then you pin that comment so that it stays at the very top of your comment list. And that's also shown to be pretty effective effective. And if you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.